That one's fine. The gun was a tip up, and if I have it under my arm, I can put the match on because right. I'm right handed. Then you have both hands. I have both. I have this hand. You know, I can get the match in there, seat it. Too short. Perfect. It's just, it's figuring out where to put everything on your body because you, you never do this in any other loading system ever. Right. All this is doing is just buying you, you know, you grab your match. This is holding all the weight. This hand isn't really doing anything except holding and steadying it as you put the match on. This is why you have to try your match because you do got to get it lined up. You don't want to introduce the match in or near the powder pan and then have a misfire because now it's like, well, did it go off or not? And as soon as you bring this down, it's going to go off. So perfect, right there, right center of the pan. And what they do is then it would stand like this, waiting for the command to fire because you're protecting that flash pan. Okay, you're just basically poised and ready. So when the command to come back to attention is given and open pans, you can lean right back into it. Okay. So it's just, like I said, it's kind of a balancing act here. And you're just resting because see, everything's balanced. Everything wants to pull forward. You know, we were kind of talking about the stop here. Again, so the rest can slide up that. there. That's your balance point. Okay. Yeah. Now everything's balanced muzzle heavy so it's back here so you have your right hand to function with your match okay, so let's try that the simplified version is just to bring the match lock to the rest match. and the next is to try your match this is why that pan is important. That's gonna hit. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. This is the flame working side. Yep. This is the black powder side. See, it's already separated. Okay. All so your powder is opposite of your flame. You're right handed. I shoot left. Or I shoot right, yeah. Okay. But you are left. It's fine. Okay. It just lets me know because then I know pieces to, to tune you in a little bit better. So Jerry, explain this gear you just dropped on my friend okay. here. Well, this is the bandolier of charges. Roll you around a little bit. There we go. I want to get you in the sun. Go. The bandolier of chargers. The bandolier of charges. Each bottle, which these are brass, and they could be brass or wood or mm -hmm. tin. Um, each one contains 100 grains of powder mm -hmm. for this particular musket. And uh, it's just popped. The lid is popped open. The powder is dumped in. And then the ball placed. And then you're ready to fire. So the ball this cannon takes is damn near three quarters of an inch in diameter and I am not making that up. That is a hole and that's as close as I can get to this thing because we're fixing to go live so I'm going to back up. So you said you kept keep the flame on the left side and the powder on the right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is merge with the Get everything over in one hand and then let this slide down to bring your weapon up to the almost like priming a front lock. Mm, okay. So you're gonna do the same principle, it's gonna bring it down where you're gonna hold everything in one hand. There we go. Now you can go back and get your priming bottle.
now you'll just grab the next bottle down. Usually I leave the lids open, that's how I know they've been fired. Okay. Then cast about. Yep. I'm gonna get the lead ball out of the bag. Now I broke our ramrod, so we had to go get my range rod out of the shop. I'll fix his ramrod. That's what Acroglass is for. Now, bring one of your match. You have to bring your match. Let the rest do the work out front. Get your match. You gotta get. Go ahead and open your pan. And then stance forward. Stance is forward like that. And then take your match out and you can go to the prime position again. You're right over there. Yeah, you bring it all together again. Yeah. Wow, that is awkward with the uh, trying to hold the match without burning yourself. <laughs> Practice. Yeah, for sure. Outstanding. Yeah, you want to have two fingers space in between because that's why they're not touching. Right. Okay. And then that's just held tight in there. You can just let it hang out. You cast off your corn, what they call the corns. Make sure there's all new loose powder. Yeah, that's alright. Which when you did it, it went off. Now you got both ends of that lit in case mm -hmm. you put one out. Okay. Just one goes out, or you can relight. So this is what Blackbeard had hanging out of his hair was that match. All right. Yep, that's good. And then you lean forward. Yep. You're still flat on your feet. You gotta get rid of the pan. Just open your pan. Now the real trick is to see if I can pan over and zoom in and see the ball hit the berm. Did it get there yet? <laughs> yeah. Right. So Jerry's kind of coaching Josh through how to operate a very large bore match lock. This isn't Josh's first time operating this system. He's had some instruction. 
So he's beginning to figure out that you keep the fire in the left hand and the gunpowder in the right hand and your maximum exposure as far as uh, open powder and on open flame is only about 100 grains that of powder, which is a lot. Now the ramrod to the gun, we broke the end off it about two rounds ago, so we're using my range rod. But this is Josh's third round on this gun, and he's already beginning to get proficient with a system that just doesn't exist on any other weapon. I love that. Outstanding, sir. Try that with a match lock. <laughs> Outstanding.